Let's jump to the war here, and today we've got a seven year disaster battle playing as Carcassonne going up against Citra, and we are badly outnumbered in this battle. We've actually got slightly higher quality units than theirs, so they've got four almost full stacks coming at us, lots of bones, but we've got a slightly better army. Rapunzel is coming in with a half stack of uh, Knights of the Realm, which is good, for sure. And what we're going to do here is we are going to control a large army because we want as many of them to come on to the battlefield as possible at a time so that the artillery can do as much damage. Based on the email, he said that he's basically the last army just sort of wore him down because just ran out of ammo or whatnot. I'm not too sure. I haven't seen what he did. But it just, it just ground him down. So we need to be a little bit more efficient than however he fought it. Or else we're just going to get the exact same result. So we need to make sure that the artillery is shooting into blobs. We need to make sure that the fire ar archers here are actually hitting good targets. Uh, we need to make sure that they're not inflicting that much damage on us. Okay, that's a bit of a problem. So they've got armies coming in from... Normally I take this position here because it kind of protects your flank. But with them coming around our rear here, that's not really optimal. Plus our reinforcements are coming from here. So I think we'll take a defensive position over here. And I think I'll use a checkerboard here as well. Yeah. If you're going to use a checkerboard, it's best to use square formations as much as possible. Don't go too long or too wide, or else it, you won't be able to turn them around when needed. I don't think I want to go too far out that way. All right, and then, like I said, square formations are best. Allows them to respond to issues quickly. That's not square. Doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be relatively squared. Faith is my armor. But yeah, I found that just like creating one big line, it's not it's not very effective. You know, in most battles where the bounce power is even, you can just do it, but oh hang on. Um, in this situation here where we we have to fight essentially two battles at once, um, it's not acceptable. Alright, let's do that. I don't think I want these guys on fire at will to begin with. Alright, do we have Henry coming in? Yep. Alright, I think three units of cav over here. It'd be good to send Rapants over here to just pop this down early. Stay away from the Necro Sphinx there. Alright, so we got, let's put four over here, and the rest of you guys come around over this way. So what I want to do with the cavalry is more avoid combat to begin with, because I kind of expect that once these guys run out of ammo, I think it'd be best if I just withdraw them from the battlefield, and then we'll have mass mobility, and um, if we spend the cavalry before then, I think that'll be a huge mistake. So what I want to do here is use up our ammo as efficiently as possible and then get the archers and the artillery off the battlefield. And then, mobility time. But we don't want to do that first. So we'll wear down the army as much as possible, thin them out, and then hit and run. They seem to really lack archer units here. Fair few heroes here and there. Uh, could could be a good idea for Henry to pop down a couple of charges on these uh, these guys here because they're going to be the biggest problem to deal with. With like the archers and stuff. Uh, what is Cetra on? Cetra is on horseback there. Okay, just need to know what he's doing. Get into the formation a little bit, and then just pop that down so it does a, it, you know, it does a decent amount of damage, but it's, it's free damage. That's what's all about there. Right. Let's see if we can manage to just pop down a bit of damage on this guy while we're not doing anything. Good, he just totally ate that. Good stuff. That's what you want to see. And then get out of there before you get hit. That would be good. Cool. No, no, you're being too slow. You're being too slow. Come on. Victory is assured. At 
Alright, all we're doing is knocking him down, that's not ideal. Uh, if we could lure that away, that could work. Alright, they're almost in range. Alright, I took a little bit of damage there. We got the better of him in that little engagement, but it was only, it was only by a little bit. Come on. You gotta be hit and running. You can't get stun locked like that. I don't know if that really worked out there. Alright, let's let's worry about this here now. Okay, artillery. We should be in range. I didn't want to fire at will because ah oh, crap. My mistake there. No big deal, easily stopped. Yeah, they're they're fine. Okay. Get ready. What we want to do here is try to lure these Necro Sphinxes into the center. Oh, sorry, the one Necro Sphinx into the center here to get shot by our archers. We don't have guns or anything like that. Spearmen are not ideal for dealing with them. We need to shoot them. Bring him in. As for their generals, probably best. Okay, hang on. All of these guys here. Yep, shoot there. Just bog it down with melee infantry for the time being. Alright, they're coming in a bit too too much over here. It's not really ideal. Uh, shoot far back over here. Alright, start bogging down their infantry. We want to deal with this stuff here first. Alright, that, that's going down really well. Okay, you guys over here, come this way. Uh, there's still some heroes over there. Probably want to avoid that. Don't want to send them in just yet. Alright, who's who's that? Alright, all three of them dogpile on him. Good. They lost their Necro Sphinx, having done about... Oh, hang on, hang on. You need to stay, stay over here. Same with Rapaz. Uh, where are they summoning that? Oh, you bastard. Get over there. Get over here. Where is she? Okay, cool. She's pop that down. All right, all right, all right. They chose a good spot to put that down. This is unfortunate for us that they did that there. Um, try to lure some of these guys away just by getting through that gap there. Yeah, that that really stings, but <laughs> you can't exactly protect against that. Uh, this isn't good. Get back there over there. Come on, just try to use up as much of that ammo as possible. What are you doing? Just watch out for Cetra. Because he hits like a truck. Then busy. Alright, artillery, just be kind of careful where you're shooting. Alright, we almost got rid of those Yashabti there. Oh, it's really devolved into a bit of a clusterfuck here. Which isn't ideal. I might need to get these guys to charge in here, because I don't think these guys are going to hold much longer. They're all shooting, it's the artillery that's a problem. This guy needs to come back and reattach to his artillery. Okay, you guys get over there, go fight Cetra. Not ideal, but just do it anyway. Where's Henry? Yeah, yeah, you just keep keeping them back there, that's fine. Uh, I don't want to send these guys into melee right now, just keep them busy. Okay, make sure we're actually shooting good targets, shooting to that. We got, oh my god, if I could shoot in there that'd be great, but it's just, the angle's not perfect, that's the big problem there. Okay, I'll pop this down in a second. How are they going for kills? Really good, really good. Alright, Cetra is... I don't know where he is. There he is. Alright. 
Well, our cavalry's taking a little bit of a beating, but we definitely want to keep some cavalry in reserve. Just protect the goddamn artillery. This over here isn't ideal. Alright, let's charge in there and help him out. Cetra's going down, just not not super efficiently, I think. That's not doing well there. I need somebody. Uh, yeah, you guys come over here. Archers have almost used up all their ammo. Then we can get them off the battlefield, but they still got trebuchet shots to go. That's still shooting in there. That's still shooting there. Got to keep my eye on that, because that's our biggest damage deal is. Cetra's doing damage to us, but... He's got to go down. He's just got to go down. Alright, cycle charge over here. This guy's just got to keep them busy as long as possible. Keep our guy over here in reserve. Alright, that's one general, another general down. Don't want to send everyone against Cetra. What are you doing? Get over here. Alright, how are we going over here still? Yeah, still shooting a decent target. Keep that up. Keep that going there. This isn't going to last that much longer over here. Where's Rapance? Okay, get Rapance over there. Save this for later. Hate using these guys here. It's like, like kind of like crowd control. Shouldn't be using cavalry that, that way, but it's, it's what we've got. You know? Stretched a bit thin. The second wave is about to begin. These guys, okay, get, just get them off the battlefield. They're done. Alright, these guys here. Yeah, shoot at that. How are you going there? Still aiming at a decent target. Aim for that spot there if you can. Cetra's almost gone. He's done a ton of damage to us, but there was no way he wasn't going to do a ton of damage to us. We just didn't have anything that could just take him out for free. Take these off, and you guys maybe shoot over here now. Alright, I think that was Cetra. That's great. Now let's, well we've got this opportunity, wreck them. Enemy's not fair and great, get him over here. Alright. Form up again over here, these guys, if you haven't already, withdrew. This guy's not having a good day, get him out. Okay, this over here, it's, you know, we're taking a bit of damage with the cavalry, but we're okay. We're okay. And it's a bit frantic, it's a bit frantic, but things will calm down now, just for a little bit. And just shoot at whatever. Because I just need to get them off the battlefield now. So we're just going to be bones from here on out. Alright, you guys get over here. Let's try to wipe these guys out here and then... Oh, hang on. We got, we got incoming. Come on. Withdraw. Carrion aren't exactly the best units in the game, but just... Okay, I gotta get these guys out of here so they can cycle charge. Good. Looks like they're going to... Get reorganized. Uh, yeah, shoot over there. That would be a lot better. Ugh, bloody mess here. Okay. All knights charge into this position here. Get that guy out. It's okay if he leaves the battlefield, but it's not okay if he dies. Okay, get over here. That seems to be going alright there. I'll check their kills later. Quite a mess, this battle. Alright, these artillery here, they can leave the battlefield now. They're done. They oh, they got tons of kills. 
That's what we needed to do. Every, everybody here was just to make sure these guys did their job. Uh, these other ones... Yeah, because these were shooting into this blob over here. Alright, they're done. Alright, the archers just have a few more shots to shoot off. And then we can start phase two of our battle plan here. Can I get, can get these damn knights out of their way? Just... Just get everyone together. Forget honor. Feel my fury. Oh, did I put them in? The no, I didn't. Uh, I didn't put them in that mode, so I don't know why they keep moving forward. Alright, I gotta get I gotta get reorganized. Alright, I'm basically using my cavalry now as a fixing force. And they're in a big blob, which is not ideal. But I just want to get a few shots off, off with the archers, and then we can then we can start being a bit more mobile. There's the equivalent of probably about a stack and a half left. Alright, we gotta we gotta start getting out of here. Start withdrawing all the spearmen. Just get them off the battlefield. Actually, these guys here, just stay here just a little bit longer. Just keep them back. But get these guys back. They need to have a little bit of a rest. Get the infantry off. Because they're not needed anymore for this next phase. They don't have any more fast units. We just need our guys to just pin them down just for a little bit longer to have used up the last of our ammo. I'll get these guys out shortly. Just get them to leave. Alright, look, that'll do. The longer we're here in melee now, the, the worse it's going to get. We need to start pulling them out. So, get them out. Just go out that way. And start pulling these guys out. And what we'll do here is recollect ourselves. Oh, that guy's stuck there. Just scoop out. Recollect ourselves away from them. Form up a new battle plan. Battle formation. And uh, focus more on hit and run now. So, yeah, just... Oh, hang on. Some of these guys can still shoot a little bit. Go into there. This guy, we're not going to get him out. We can get them out, though. So get him out. Oh. Come on, get him out. No, they're done. Leave. Ah, oh, come on. Get into a better formation than that. This one's a little bit stuck. Our uh, Rapunz, you can stay in there a little bit longer. They can't really do much damage to you. Because, yeah, an army is only as fast as its slowest person, so we got to get all the slow people off the battlefield if we're going to do this next phase. Effectively. Okay, Crap. Now we've got to go rescue him. Alright, where's Henry? Henry needs to go rescue him. Alright, you guys are done. Leave the battlefield. Because you've got to consider, like, we don't want to throw these guys into melee right after the the battle's over. Because um, then, after the battle, they're going to be damaged. Whereas if we withdraw, even if we lost here, at least they're at full strength. Try to save that guy as much as possible, because he can get out a lot easier. I don't care if he leaves the battlefield. If he leaves, it's fine. Just... Try to escort him out as much as possible. So yeah, I just want them to have a bit of a rest. We're not on force march. This I don't think we are. Just let them have a rest. Okay, I think we can use that now. Like, Henry can't stay there forever. I don't know if this guy here is immortal, so I'm just trying to keep them bogged down so they don't pursue him. Rapant can sit there for ages. She's so bloody strong. She'll be fine. And as soon as he gets out of there... We can get Enri out. 
Come on, over here. Get him out. Doesn't matter if he leaves the battlefield, he just needs to not die. Alright, I think he's... I think he's home free now. Alright, cool. Alright, let's get Henry out of there. And Rapunz is doing just fine. Okay, cool. Just don't engage with him just yet. These guys are fairly tired. We want our guys to recover now. He might actually come back. But I don't want him participating in any more combat. At once. Swiftly. Speak. Good stuff. Alright, get over there. Regroup with them. Alright, cool. Now we'll just speed it up for a bit. Rapunz will sit there for, for ages tanking them. That's no problem. In fact, she could probably deal with the rest of these by herself. Alright, let's have a look at the situation here. Uh, okay, it doesn't say outnumbered by enemy, which we are actually outnumbered by them. But that would give us an indication of whether or not we're winning. I don't have a balance of power here, I actually can't, I don't know. I'd say it'd be about even at this stage here. But I'm not sure. Like I said, we'll use this opportunity, use our speed to go and have a bit of a rest, and then pick off stragglers. Rapunzel is able to inflict so many kills through infantry. I think he just does tons of splash damage. Alright, let's start uh, coming up with a plan. We don't want to just charge into this head-on. That won't be a good use of our cavalry here. So I think what we need to do is split up into two groups. That's usually what I do in this sort of situation where it's melee infantry versus cavalry. Split up into two groups, see how they respond to it, and then respond accordingly. Meanwhile, Rapunzel just be killing shit like crazy. See, it'd be good to bring our cavalry over here to take out these guys. And I think that's what I'm going to do. What's that? Skeleton Spears? Alright. Probably avoid this one. Just take out that. And we just pick off stragglers until the army loss penalty gets inflicted. So if we charge into this with all of our force, we're probably not even going to take any damage. Because it terrifies them. Even, even though they're not really susceptible to that kind of thing. They get this penalty where they're outnumbered by local enemies. Uh, if I could, Yeah, see, they just instantly disintegrate. Which that would not have happened if we had charged head on. Alright, let's have Rapunz. Oh, she got perfect vigor, so she doesn't need a rest. Alright, I'm going to send her straight back in again, because she's got plenty of health. Just have her go back in and keep doing that. Tie down as many units as possible. See how they respond to this again. And then just do the exact same thing to them, because it works. Let's wait for them to crowd around a little bit before we pop down the nuke. It's not really a nuke, but just pop it down. Good, does a lot of damage. So yeah, it ties a bunch of them down. This one here seems pretty isolated, but we want to give them enough distance so that they can't go back and deal with him and reinforce him. Alright, go around this way. I'm definitely leaning towards attacking this one here. He's the straggler. But you don't want them to catch on that that's what we're going to do. Alright, here we go. Let's get going. I don't think these guys are going to make it there in time. But this should be sufficient to smash him. Yeah, Henry, keep that busy. Alright, slow down. Perfect place to fight them. In the river. Where they get a melee penalty. Hey. 
Yeah, just keep it busy. A little bit longer. Don't want them interfering with this. Even though I didn't really flank them, it doesn't really matter if they start crumbling. Yeah, if I pull through them a little bit, that might work. Sorry about Rapunz, she's good. Just leave her be. So that didn't go quite as well as the one over here. Once these guys charge in, they should uh, disintegrate. Yep. Because, yeah, it's the faster, stronger enemies nearby. That's that's the penalty that they get. So this one's next. It's already crumbling. It's a different kind of fear that they suffer from. Good. Gone. Victory's in our grasp. I think there's the army losses. Good. Good. So it'll probably be a Pyrrhic victory, but really the damage isn't too bad. The artillery, one of the, oh, it wasn't, okay. Uh, one of the artillery pieces got damaged from the Ushabti. None of the archers really took any damage. The melee infantry are always going to take tons of damage. Um, and the cavalry took, you know, a bit here and there. But four of their armies completely wiped out with no of our he none of our heroes killed. Tons of kills for everyone, except for the melee infantry. Yeah, when it comes down to, like, what you should have to hold the enemy back, heroes are a lot better than melee infantry. Like, a lot better. It really just comes down to whether or not you have the capacity to put loads of heroes in your army. And whether or not you can afford them. I think you're good for chivalry. Take a bit of money. And let's see what happens over the rest of this turn. We'll see how things look for you. Boy, Fiamri's got some armies. Not using the backsplace exploit. Uh, I would assume you didn't declare war. But yeah, as a general rule of thumb, Athel Lauren's not a fun place to go and invade. What's the matter, dwarf? You... Looks like you got them by the balls. So, nope. Alright, let's have a look at the situation. Come on, get these notifications out of my face. Alright, cool. I'm assuming it happened somewhere over here. Just gotta find where Rapunz is. Was it here? No, it wasn't there. So you've got a pretty standardized army that you like to have. I'm gonna have to check fire here. Alright, so you were in enemy territory. Oh, I guess it kinda had to be done. Didn't scout ahead. Even though... Looks like you were trying to, actually. Um... Blessings of the lady yeah, so you didn't see them coming. Uh, I, it all seems like it's going fine. I mean... 100 turns in with 35 settlements, Carcassonne. How many enemies do you have again? Yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, looks like you've got Kevin by the balls. So, I mean, this definitely isn't ideal there, but you did build up defenses, so that's good. And there's just bones anyway, so no problem. All right, I'd say the campaign's pretty healthy. All right, cool. It's just that one battle that needs to be sorted. No worries. All right, guys, that's the end of this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. And I appreciate you, and I'll see you next time, fuckers.